Hey everyone, welcome to today's tasting video. Today we're gonna go ahead and taste a Malbec from Argentina. All right, so <clears throat> today we are drinking a 2013 Caiken from uh, Argentina. 100% Malbec. Obviously, I'm a big fan of uh, Malbec. Uh, love uh, a good Malbec from South America, from Argentina. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, Caiken, the winery. Um, all started, it was built back in 1920 by Italo Calis. Uh, back then, they made some different types of beverages. They even made some olive oil. And uh, today, they are focusing on um, wine obviously they have a different line um you know ranging even they have some sparkling uh uh wine they have uh, different lines they have some cabs they have some blends um so they do a lot of uh, different wines now a little fun fact is that the word kai ken which is actually spelled differently instead of uh, k a i k e n is spelled with a c Q U E N at the end, and it's basically um, it's a wild goose from Patagonia, Argentina, and it's a goose that actually flies across the Andes from um, from Argentina across to Chile. So that's where they get the names from. Uh, also love their their bottles, their design, and if you go on their site, they have a really cool imagery of all the goose kind of flying across. So that's uh, it's pretty. Pretty cool, unique name there. So, let's go ahead and uh, get into this wine here. It's got this um, dark ruby color that you can say. Mm, this is aged 12 months in uh, French oak barrels, so you can definitely um, get the, the the French oak on the on the nose. Getting a little bit of acidity. Um, it's I think 14 and a half percent alcohol, so definitely getting that um, that alcohol rushing on the nose. Lots of uh, I would say like very dark berries. Where I'm getting with a lot of oak, uh, some definitely cake to it. Seems like a, a more of a full-bodied wine on the nose. But let's go ahead and see what it's got on the palate. Um, yeah, definitely lots of acidity, uh, lots of tannins, tannins are definitely present, so you're going to want to air this wine out, give it some time to evolve, um, and it's right because on, look at, look at, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's got long legs and that you can tell, that usually means it's a uh, high alcohol, um, back on the palate, it's actually a lot. It's not as much of a full body as it is uh, on the nose. It's actually a little bit smoother. Um, goes through the palate pretty quickly. Very intense, very, uh, very flowerful, dark, like I said, really dark berries, and you can definitely get the, the, the French oak in there. Um, this, is, this would be an inter interesting wine to give it time, maybe an hour or two of decanting to see how it really evolves, because I feel like this is just not the best time to drink it uh, better just kind of airing it out and give it some air and i think with decanting even this you know give it 30 minutes or even an hour if you can i think this would make a big difference on this wine and you can tell that this is even aging it a little bit better uh, longer this is a 2013 four years old uh, i think this is a really a good potential uh, wine averages for about twenty to twenty-five dollars, depending on where you're getting it. And this is, uh, to me, this is a uh, like this. This is a really good, um, nice red uh, table wine Malbec. Uh, I would even say a little bit more than a table wine because it's just uh, it's so powerful and so intense. It's it's very rich. Um, so great job by Kai Ken uh, for making this Malbec, and. Um, that is going to do it for us. So hope you liked the video. Give us a subscribe, share, thumbs up. If you have a specific wine that you want us to taste or if you want us to do something different, let us know. Always love your feedback. And until next time, cheers, everyone.